cutting out individual subjects from an image used to take an entire evening, if it worked at all. With Cutout, all of that is history. My name is Mahi Raptis, and I'll show you now how you can use Cutout to separate even complicated subjects from a background, and then incorporate them into another image. After opening Cutout, select an image you like. For example, my friend Petra here. Since the background is noisy, that is, it is not a single colored background, I'll use inside-outside matting. Click on it once, and you'll arrive in the matting dialog. Next, we'll use the polygon tool for the inside selection. Click once, and then trace along the edges. Just approximately, it doesn't have to be very precise. You're basically telling Cutout that this is the main subject and the one to be cut out later. Once the area has been completely traced, double click to mark it. Now we'll do the same thing for the outside edge. I'll use the other polygon tool over here and mark the background. Just click and trace, click and trace. Again, very roughly, the border will be closed when the lines are joined at the end. Great. Now on to matting. Voila! The woman is now perfectly cut out and as you can see in grayscale, down to every last hair. Here we have our transparency view. Here's the original, and here is grayscale. If you like it, click OK, and then in Cutout you can directly select a new background. For example, this one here. Hit Open, and our foreground subject, in this case the portrait, is superimposed. Scroll to zoom out, and all done. From what I can tell, we achieved a sensational result in less than three minutes. You see, cutting out in photography has become so easy ever since Cutout from Francis. Have fun!